So 2010s. This one got a little bit weird on my list because okay. I'm starting to pick teams. And I think this was kind of in 2010, I was in my hardcore phase of really trying to get hired by WWE and putting on the hard press. So I was less into watching the product and more into developing my skill set. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you've gone first on a couple. So I'm going to throw out. I, I put the shield on there. I mean, when talking yeah. 2010s, I mean, they, they had impact and were monumental and, and, and made a presence and statement and obviously they're all successful today yeah. also had the usos who we're talking two decades strong of being yep. one of the top tag teams there is Amen. has to be considered as as a name you can look at the history of teams but when looking at the presence and saying hey 10 years from now they're one of those historic teams that everyone's going to be talking about yeah uh i also put the new day yep and then my final I put the Wyatt family, but then I started trying to think outside the box. And I'm going to be honest, I, I didn't watch a lot of Ring of Honor in my days, yep. but I know the impact that the Briscoes had in oh, the yes. 2010 <laughs> era of being one of those top tag teams and making a statement and changing the game a little bit. So yep. I started to think that although I don't know and I'm too familiar with most of their matches, I know that they were a team that would be considered one of those Mount Rushmore yeah, teams yeah, of that yeah, decade. Yeah. I literally had them on my list and took them off, uh, but but totally could you could remove who I put on and who I, you know them easily because look what, what I look for too, and you're going to find that out when I read you my 2010 list here in a second is who made an impact in the world of wrestling. Maybe not on television, maybe not, but who? What team do people still talk about? Oh man, they were a great team, and that's. You know, I think that's what you just touched on right there. Yeah. So was that all of yours? Yeah, that was all of mine on okay. that one. So mine, uh, tw the 2010s, uh, Claudio and Chris Hero. All right. The, <laughs> and that's the why kings I, of that's wrestling. Why, that's why I said you'll see what I mean in a minute. They made a they made a, a difference in the wrestling game. I heard tell of them on the independent circuit while I was, you know, uh, writing the show or not writing it but but while i was producing the show and stuff for wwe and even before that on the indies like they were making a name for themselves and they were doing it by wrestling really well in tag matches and so i put them on there because i think they deserve their props i too have the same three as as your other ones the shield new day and the usos and look i you can't I, go I, anywhere you, else you, really <laughs> you, you can't go anywhere else because that's who we were dealing with at the time. There's no other. Uh, when we get to the current ones, I got, I got some people around. You know what I mean. But but for this one, I went with because look, I think that I'll go back to it. That cage match, uh, the Hell in the Cell with the Usos and New Day. For one thing, so proud of it because we had to fight like cats and dogs <laughs> to uh, to get the uh, to get the match to happen. For one thing, a lot of people were against a tag match in Hell in the Cell. It was like that doesn't even like it doesn't com com you compute. It doesn't make sense. Like what? It and so it was like we talked him into letting us do it, and then those guys went out and delivered in such a way that I'll never forget that. Um, so I got to keep those guys on there. The uh, Claudio and what were they? The uh, Kings of Wrestling. Kings of Wrestling. Yeah, the K O W, cow. No. Uh, <laughs> man cow. Uh, so, yeah, Claudio, Shield, New Day. But then Claudio uh, went says. on to be an incredibly successful tag team wrestler. Same, yeah, captured we, WWE tag team titles with Tyson Kidd. Captured it with Sheamus. I mean. 100%, man. He's been a great. Hey, look, he's a great singles competitor, too. I think what held him back a little bit is his promo skills. And it's not that he's not doesn't have a great sense of humor and is funny. It's just. He speaks 56 languages, and English is, is one of them, and he, he's not, I mean, he's good at it, and you can totally understand him. That's not what I'm getting at, but he's not the best promo in the world, and but he is the best wrestler in the world, maybe. You know what I mean? So it just, it just begs to wonder, like, why didn't... Uh, you know, they went for a second there with Heyman being his ta his his mouthpiece, and like it just felt like it was going to go somewhere, and it didn't, man. And, and it's just a sad because he's uh, really good at what he does. Absolutely. 